Hi there, it's Cathy here and welcome to this live stream this evening. So tonight I'm going to be talking a little bit about abundance. So um, you might have done the uh, done all kinds of manifesting programs or read lots of books or done uh, courses and done all the visualizations and the vision boards and still feel like your abundance isn't flowing like you expect it to so i'm going to talk a little bit about why that might be happening tonight so what does abundance mean to you for most people it's uh usually it's about money and, and material success and money can certainly uh, make life easier uh, but as the saying goes it won't buy you happiness so uh, you know in fact you can have a lot of money and still feel poor or unhappy and I used to get so anxious and stressed that things weren't happening fast enough in my business or I wasn't making uh, enough money or attracting enough clients and it, it used to make me feel like I wasn't good enough I got overwhelmed a lot and I really felt like I must be doing things wrong because I seem to have so many like failures. Um, and I kept looking outside uh, myself out into that shiny social media world. These coaches were doing that seemed to be raking in the cash for them. And I'd, invent, I'd invested thousands of pounds over the years with experts who I believe must know better than me how to fix what, what wasn't working. And I did the practical stuff to grow my business uh, and then I did the inner work. And I grew, I grew a lot, but I just didn't feel that much more abundant. So I was still really stressed and anxious. And then one day I ended up going to a live event where all the members of uh, an online business success and coaching community that I was part of were meeting up. And in this online space, there was so much positivity and lots and lots of broadcasting of successes. Um, you know, it really seemed like they had this secret formula to manifesting, to manifesting thousands of pounds effortlessly. And I just thought, well, they have it and I just don't have it. I, and I assumed it was because I just had money blocks or that my sort of hidden self-worth programs were keeping it from me. So that was on the online space. But in this live space where I could feel the energy in the room, I was in a lot of a lot of fear, a lot of sense of self-judgment, comparisonitis happening, a real feeling of less than and desperation from a lot of people. And it was really clear that lots of these people had come to this event um, also looking for this secret formula to wealth and success. And the illusion of that massive success that I'd perceived everybody had reached you know, in that online space was completely destroyed for me. And I felt like I'd been set free. It was an amazing feeling. So after that, it sort of opened my eyes up and I started hearing more about the home lives of various financially successful coaches. And I was discovering that they had all kinds of problems with relationships. They had no time with their kids. Their health was suffering, they were working 80 hour weeks, sitting at the computer all day, you know, growing their businesses. They were maybe they were away, like traveling away from home and away from the family, too much stress. You you can picture how it might be. And um, there was at one point I had asked the universe, I put it, I put out to the universe that I wanted to learn from a success successful coach uh, as a sort of mentor so in an uh, informal way not through some structured program or business coaching uh, I just wanted to kind of get to know someone on on that level and uh, one day this guy contacted me who I didn't know 
but he was a seven figure coach and he had an international business and he was actually contacting me to see if I would be interested in speaking at one of his events. And um, I thought, well, I better check him out because it, this was what I'd been asking for. I wanted to, you know, step up and, um, you know, get more visibility and just get myself out there. So I checked him out. He had a legitimate business. All, all looked good. Uh, and he got in touch with me again and said, well, did I want to meet up and have a chat in person? And uh, so I was sort of in this phase where I was saying yes to anything that the universe brought me. So I checked him out a bit further and I looked at his Facebook profile. Uh, I could see that he had, you know, happy family pictures of his cover image and pictures of his kids everywhere. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, so I thought, yes, OK. And so when I went to meet him, it was really interesting. I could feel a bit of a weird vibe immediately. And when we were sitting down talking, he just kept name dropping really big named business people uh, who were speaking at his event and that were friends of his and and then he started hitting on me and um, it was it was such a strange strange situation to be in and he was just like divulging all this information about how his relationship was a mess how he was unhappy at home he never saw these kids um, and even if he was lying uh, he clearly wasn't happy in his family life or he wouldn't be acting this way and um, you know I kind of got out of there as fast as I could uh, but it was a really big learning for me I realized that you know even though I wasn't a financial high roller like him I felt far far richer so massive learning so you know there's a lot of there's a lot of information out there on mindset, on law of attraction, on personal development, and each one claims to have the perfect answer for you, or so it seems, right? You know, you, you, and you've bought the books, and you've taken the classes, and you've done the vision boards, and all the visualizations, and you know, maybe you've been really, really consistent, but something still feels like it's missing, even if you managed to manifest what you thought you wanted. Last week, interestingly, I was talking to an abundance coach and she was like a super manifester and she told me that she'd reached a place where she had manifested everything that she'd ever wanted. And she felt empty and stuck because she then didn't know what she wanted to do next. So the thing is, if you're feeling that you're still unsatisfied, then it's probably because you've been you've been focusing on improving the abundance in your external world rather than cultivating your inner sense of abundance and shifting the way that you see yourself and how you relate to the world. It's a whole big shift in consciousness. Real abundance is actually the experience of being deeply happy with yourself, feeling this divine flow, flowing divine guidance or the, the divine <laughs> flow through your life guiding you supporting you and trusting in the mysteries of life you know with a real sense of unlimited possibility and magic irrespective of your current external circumstances so you know these days I feel pretty joyful and content and abundant most of the time even when life is challenging or money isn't flowing so freely and even in those times when I'm feeling really lost and kind of feeling my way through the darkness, because this is hap this happens, it's part of a cycle of transformation. People still comment on my lightness. And I think it's, it's because although I might not be able to see you clearly at that point, I make it a, a real priority to stay connected to the light, to, to source. I do do this work. And because of that, I do attract amazing opportunities and incredible people into my life and I feel really alive and hopeful and connected to the world around me. It's such a, a wonderful and abundant feeling. So, you know, it's a real delicious feeling of abundance accompanied by a deep love and appreciation for your own uniqueness. It's so much closer than you think, but you have to be uh, 
uh, to experience it, you have to be willing to do the inner work, which is often uncomfortable. You have to have your daily practice to, to do the work to keep you focused, which is as essential as cleaning your teeth every day. And more, most importantly, you have to be the change that you want. So, which means you have to be the vibration that you wish to experience. So be that first, which means practicing stepping into that future version of you where you already are in that flow. And this is, this is part of, um, this is a really important part of drawing things to you. It's, it's not just about manifesting externally, it's about feeling it on the inside first and being that vibration because the more that you be that which you desire, then you, inst well not instantly, then you naturally attract it because that's the way, the vibration that you're being. There's more to this, uh, it's not just as a matter of like focusing on it and visualizing, there's, there's taking action, the universe is going to bring you everything that you are not in uh, everything it will bring up everything within you is out of alignment with that vision first so you know this is where you, it gets uncomfortable you have to deal with all the crap that comes up but you know all of this is there you can't change your reality just by consuming more information at seminars and reading books and watching videos all that does is feed your mind and make you think that you know and that's when it gets really frustrating and confusing because nothing changes, but you know it all. I wonder if you've ever experienced that. I mean, I, I have been there, so I, I know this. Uh, it's, it's, you know, people, ex I'm sure lots of people experience this. So when you trust yourself and your connection to source or to the universe, regardless of how your finances are or how your relationships are going, or if you're, Unclear of the direction of your business or work, um, you know, which what, what, what direction it wants to take you. Um, even though all of that's going on, you can still experience a really deep sense that everything's going to be OK and that you're not wrong and that life is somehow perfect as it is right now in that confusing, unclear kind of time. And, and just a sense that all is unfolding beautifully that's when you are in that level of trust. Um, so this internal work, it really gives us so much more space to ask uh, for what's possible, what else is possible from the universe, and to really allow inspiration to guide us to these next wonderful experiences. This is kind of my sense of abundance. So if this speaks to you and you are continually chasing external um, change and it hasn't brought you what you're looking for maybe you're ready for a shift in consciousness too you know if if you'd like to quit making so much effort to change your outer world and start instead to be happy and abundant on the, on the inside you can you can do it so I just wanted to leave you with a poem on abundance by a guy called Jeff Foster and uh, it's called, It's Not What You Have, It's What You Are. And this really sums up uh, what abundance is for me. So it goes, abundance is not the money you have in your bank account, the trophies on your shelf, the letters after your name, the list of goals reached, the number of people you know, your perfect body, your adoring fans. It is your connection to each breath, how sensitive you are to every flicker of sensation and emotion in your body. It is the delight with which you savour every unique moment, the joy with which you greet each new day. It is knowing yourself as presence, the power that creates and moves worlds. It is your open heart, how deeply moved you are by love every day your willingness to embrace, to hold what needs to be held. It is the freshness of each morning, unencumbered by memory or false hope. It is the feeling of the afternoon breeze on your cheeks, the sun warming your face. It is meeting others in the field of honesty and vulnerability, 
connecting beyond the story, sharing what is alive. It is your rootedness in the present moment, knowing that you are always home, no matter what happens, no matter what is gained or what is lost. It is touching life at the point of creation, never looking back, feeling the belly rise and fall and thanking each breath. It is falling to your knees in awe, laughing at the stories they tell, sinking more deeply into rest. It is simplicity. It is kindness. It is you before every sunrise, fresh, open, ready and awake. So I think that's beautiful. So I'd love to know what your thoughts are on abundance and how it's been for you and whether this resonates for you, what I've, what I've shared and um, you might have completely different experiences. So do let me know in the comments and uh, thanks for joining me and for listening in and I will see you all next time. So bye for now.